Hello YouTube. Well, it's been a little while since I made a video uh, on my trips, but I do have a trip. I'm back on the road. Thank you, Jesus, for allowing me to come back onto the road, at least for right now. Uh, I have a trip from West Plains, Missouri to Senatopia, Mississippi. I believe that's how you uh, pronounce that. It's just south of uh, Memphis, Tennessee, a little ways, about 40 or 50 miles. Anyway, I'm in Joplin, Missouri, picking up my bus, and we'll be headed to West Plains to uh, overnight and picking up a basketball team tomorrow, uh, where we will go down to Mississippi, they'll play their game, and then we head back to uh, West Plains to drop them off, and then I take the bus to our other yard in Spokane, Missouri. So why don't you come along? Welcome back guys. Well, I am leaving out of Joplin, headed to West Plains. Uh, it's kind of cold. When I left uh, my home, it was uh, kind of sunny and uh, 50, in the 50s, uh, quite windy, but now over here in Joplin, it's uh, quite cold and temperature showing 32 degrees right now and and uh, quite cloudy as you can see uh, we actually have some flurries that have uh, fallen already although it's not sticking thank you also anyway uh, so we're making our way out of Joplin here on old route 66 uh, Joplin this is called 7th Street but uh, it's actually the old historic Route 66, and we've just come into a town called Dunaweg, Missouri. Uh, this guy here is going to take his sweet time. I guess he enjoys traveling old Route 66. We're doing 30 miles an hour, speed limit's 45. I guess he's going to turn up here, but All right, Mr. Go ahead. Have a good day. There you go. That's kind of a uh, important thing, showing about proper following distance and uh, paying attention to the traffic in front of you. You never know when uh, someone might decide to slam on their brakes or uh, you know, tourists or people not knowing, not sure where they're going, trying to find their destination. Uh, we are just coming out of Thanksgiving. Uh, this is the weekend after Thanksgiving, so still may have some people that are. Uh, visiting family and whatnot, or latecomers, uh, some, not everybody uh, celebrates Thanksgiving uh, on uh, Thanksgiving sometimes they have to postpone it due to different things, so um, there you have it, so we're going to be heading down the road and staying at a Super 8 in West Plains, Missouri. Take a little detour. There was a lot of construction on Interstate 44, eastbound, just outside Springfield, Missouri. So we're on this little road, Highway 174, they call it, here in Republic, Missouri. And uh, temperature keeps on dropping. It's 34 degrees. It's been raining. See the roads kind of wet, and uh, so as long as the temperature stays above freezing, we should be all right. Otherwise, we'll be looking at probably some, some slippery roads. The wind has not let up, not one bit. So we're getting blown around a little bit. Still on our way to West Plains for uh, shut down there at the, the hotel. Turn left onto US 60s. Well, there you go. Yeah. GPS. Turn 
left onto US 60 East.
long day today, but that's not the way I'm in as far as miles flying. It wasn't a lot of miles today, but I'll tell you what, I should have been here probably a couple hours ago at least. In a quarter mile, take the exit toward McFarland Street. McFarland Street. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto McFarland Street. left onto McFarland Street, then turn right onto Porter Wagoner Boulevard. right onto Porter Wagoner Boulevard. Continue on Porter Wagoner Boulevard for one mile. truck drivers out there, uh, semi truck drivers, I did that for many years, and uh, I don't know, driving the bus sometimes seems, well, I'm sure it's easier in some aspects, you don't have a sleeper, so only have to stay in hotels, hours of service are a little bit different. It's still, uh, it's still working with uh, people on board. Can't exactly really pull over. You know, things get too bad. Not that, not that you can, but it, it kind of makes for a sick situation when you have 56 people on board and you're trying to. You're supposed to be home that night and you can't make it. Generally, you're looking at you know, 30 different hotel rooms or staying on the bus until things get better, which is normally what happens is you end up having to stay on the bus, which does not make the customer any happier. And all freight, you know, that freight will get there when gets there, I guess, or when you see if we can get there. So, that's the kind of difference between freight hauling and passenger hauling, I guess. And then there's, you know, there's other differences, of course. In 1,000 feet, your destination will be on the left. is on the left.
go check into the hotel. Get the bus parked. And go into my room and get warm. Good morning, YouTube. Well, this is the second day of the trip that I'm on from uh, West Plains, Missouri to uh, Senatopia, Mississippi. Uh, just got out of the hotel here in West Plains, Super 8, and uh, we'll be going to pick up the team here very shortly. Uh, today looks a lot better, sun shining, no snow on the ground, and uh, uh, the wind is still kind of windy. It's very cold. It's in the 20s. It shows Oh, well, actually warmed up. It's now 32 degrees according to the temperature gauge. So, uh, they have a game tonight at 6 p.m. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to be stopping for a lunch or dinner break before the game or not. Uh, so, sometimes I'd say uh, uh, they just kind of throw that in there. And so, stay tuned. Well, we are on campus. <clears throat> waiting for the team to come out and start loading. That's the uh, Grizzly House. That's uh, where they'll be coming out of. I think that's the uh, one of the dorms. So this is uh, Missouri University Grizzly Bears basketball that we're going to be taking to uh, Centopia, Mississippi. campus right now. I've done this trip before, well not to Mississippi, but I've done this team before. Um, I'm not sure if I said that earlier, but I took them to Memphis, uh, Tennessee on a trip uh, last year. And I believe there may be a video for that, so look, look subscribe to my channel and uh, look for that, that trip. So we will be loading up here shortly. Hello guys, we are in Jonesboro, Arkansas at Jimmy John's. Uh, team has stopped for a uh, quick lunch break, they're picking up their food and then they're going to be getting back onto the bus to uh, head back to or head to Mississippi, Santobia, Mississippi for the game tonight. Uh, I'm just in this little shopping center, which often sometimes have to come into and find a way to park to accommodate the customer. The customer generally drives cars and not a big old bus, so they just don't think about bringing a 40 to 60 foot vehicle into a shopping center so just wanted to update you on that and I hope that this video is not too boring I hope you're enjoying it uh, and continue along hello folks well we are at the college here in Mississippi the team has gone in and started their practicing a little bit. Uh, we got down here a little bit later than anticipated, thus it being dark. And uh, they're going to have their game and then we will be headed back to West Plains, Missouri to drop them off. And then I, will, of course, will be headed back to Spokane, Missouri to return the bus and get be done with this trip. So this uh, college down here is a com community college, excuse me. So it's a um, rather small college. Um, some people coming out of the door there actually. So. Not a whole lot going on, just sitting here on the bus waiting for the team to play their game and then we will head back. 
Well, welcome back, guys. Uh, we are back in West Plains, Missouri. Just dropped off the team. They did win. They won their game and got them back safely here to West Plains. So they are happy. A win on the road uh, for a road game. And I am headed to Spokane, Missouri to end my shift. Well, good morning, YouTube. Welcome back. I'm just about oh, four or five miles from my yard, and I'll be putting the bus up. Been a long night, long day. Started started my day uh, about ten o'clock this morning, and here it is. About two o'clock in the morning. Next morning, that is. Uh, once I get up here to the yard and get the bus put away, yeah, it'll probably be about two thirty or so, a little bit after. So that's uh, fourteen. Uh, what's that? Fifteen hours, sixteen hours. That's. Uh, Definitely a long day, and then I got a half an hour drive in my personal vehicle once I uh, to get back home. So that's the life of a motor coach driver, guys. Uh, especially when you do sports teams, uh, they uh, they have a game at night, and you have to uh, take them to their game and. Bring them home depending on the schedule. Uh, all this trip here, it was uh, one day for them. They went, picked them up, took them down, they played their game, Turn left onto US 160 East. and uh, brought them back. So, thank you all for coming along. I uh, hope you learned something. I hope it was informative. And uh, as always, like, comment, and share. And until our next trip, so long.